Good day everyone, I am Mr. Quality Expert, your quality advisor, and for today's video, I am going to teach you how to conduct paint hardness test. While watching this video, you will learn why is it important to conduct paint hardness test, what are the materials need to prepare before conducting paint hardness test, how to do paint hardness test, and how to judge if paint hardness is good or not acceptable. So without further ado, let us start our video. Why paint hardness test is important? If the coating is not dry or cured properly, this can affect its performance that may result easy to scratch paint and brittle paint and other painting defects. That is why we need to conduct paint hardness test to check if painting is properly dry or cure. Normally, the harder the painting, the well it is cure and with better overall performance. What are the materials need to prepare before conducting paint hardness test? First is a painted test panel. So test plate must be free from oil and dust and also use test plate that pass through painting process and for the dimension of the test piece for plastic parts it must be 150 by 70 by 3 mm and for the metal parts it must be 150 by 70 by 0 0.8 mm the second material need to prepare is the pencil recommended brand is mitsubishi drawing pencil or equivalent Hardness symbol is 9H to 6P, and 9H being the hardest, and the 6P being the softest. The third material need to prepare is sandpaper or abrasive paper. Sandpaper must be greater than 400 grit. The fourth material is the sharpener, and the fifth is clean cloth. How to do paint hardness test? First, Prepare the pencil by using the sharpener. Expose approximately 6 mm of lead without reducing the original diameter of the pencil. Next, hold the pencil at 90 degrees to the abrasive paper provided. Sharpen the pencil to have flat tip with sharp edge. Then after that, you are now ready to do the test. Place the test panel on a flat surface. Hold the pencil at 45 degrees to the coating surface and push the pencil forward at a rate of approximately 3 mm per second with maximum force but without breaking the lead. Repeat this operation at 5 different points. Also. You can uh, repeat this operation using the other pencil hardness. How to judge if paint hardness is good or not acceptable? After the paint hardness test, clean the black lead with a piece of soft cloth to inspect the coating. When five lines shows no tears or flaws, the coating shall be regarded as scratch resistance to the pencil hardness test. That's all for our video today. Again, this is Mr. Quality Expert, your quality advisor. And I hope you learn and enjoy the video regarding the paint hardness test. And see you again on our next video. Bye-bye.